everyone, so I thought it'd be cool to do an updated workstation tour because I haven't done one in a really long time and not that much has changed with my desk. Um, that's basically my workstation is just my desk. Not much has changed, but I have changed a few things and it's been a while since I since I showed you it, so I'll do it again. And um, to start off, my desk is actually t uh, like four of those um, storage cubes from Michaels. And you can actually buy those so that it makes a desk, but instead I got a big piece of wood and I put that on top of them. It used to be, I think it was pine, and I mean it still is, but I covered it with this uh, contact paper. And um, act after I bought this, I realized, like, I started seeing it everywhere. I started seeing other people uh, that had the exact same pattern as me. It's basically just like a wood texture contact paper. It looks like that. It's not real wood. It's like um, vinyl paper, I guess. If you want to know where I got it, I can put it in the description. I think something that changed from last time were my lights. Um, because before I was using like three different lights, they were all different temperatures, I'm pretty sure. But um, recently, well soon after that, I got these lights. They're pretty sleek. They're pretty bright. Um, and you can actually change the temperature of it. I usually have it on this one and they just fold down, and they actually fold down like this too. Oh, they collapse like that, and they swivel a little bit, and there's a USB ports on the back of it so you can plug stuff in and charge, like phones or cameras and stuff like that. Another thing that I think changed, actually I'm not sure if it changed. No, I think I did have this last time, but this is how I film my videos, and it looks a little strange when it's not it looks a little strange when it's not put together, but I'll show you. I keep all my rulers up here for some reason. You just put it like this, and then the camera screws into here, like this, and then it films down. So that's what that looks like. I keep it up here. This can slide back and forth. My dad made this for me, so I can't really tell you where to get it because it's homemade. I ha now have this on the wall. You can probably see me a little bit. Um, it's my silver play button? Whatever it is for 100,000 subscribers, and now that's hanging above my desk, so I keep it there. So here's one area on my desk. It always changes a little bit because I just it just depends what I have on here. But I have my mouse on here right now, a pen stand for a tablet, this kitty light that lights up like that. And you can make it um, change colors too. This is just like a notebook that I write down lists. I always use notebooks for lists, and I just keep writing lists for stuff and here I just keep um, this brush this brush is good for like wiping off eraser shavings or like cleaning off from um, a scanner some scissors my earbuds and just a whole bunch of like pens and highlighters and just like random writing utensils I just stick in here and there's actually two I don't know why I just I have two <laughs> and then there's these two drawers and in the first one I keep um, I keep uh, like colored pencils um, but they're like erasable kinds, so like the Prismacolor, Color Race, and also the Pilot Color Eno. In this one, I keep uh, gel pens, I like gold gel pens, usually just like jelly rolls. I have these googly eye uh, thumbtacks, and just like other little special pens are in here. And this one has all my mechanical pencils because I've accumulated a lot over time. I just have so many, I don't think I'll ever get to using all of them. So there's like chalk pencils, there's normal, regular pencils, just like anything that can be sharpened that isn't color, pretty much. This one's really, it's, this one never opens normally, because I have too many things in here. These are all my, uh, my felt tip pens, so like microns and just tons of stuff like that, Copic ones. I have too many. A lot of them are dying, so I should probably go through them. And here I have, um... It's mostly full of these like Bic markers and they're like fine tip colored ones and I always forget that I have these. Will you focus? I always forget I have these because um, they're always in here and I never remember that they're there. Beside these is a jar. It has a lid but I never put the lid on it. So I just keep like stuff that I use a lot in here. Just like brushes mostly but sometimes I'll put pens in here. Just if I, if I grab them a lot they go in here. Those are there on the left and now I'm going to look at these drawers. So here's one of the one of the cubes from Michaels. There's four slots, and up here I keep like printer paper um, and printer supplies for this printer. 
It's just like a normal home printer. It's the HP NV7640. There's a roll of burlap here for some reason. Um, a folder, but I don't think there's anything in this folder. It should actually be down here. It's not fitting. I keep my Cintiq here. It's a Cintiq Companion too, And there's some paper under it. Um, laminating pouches, folders, more paper, printer paper. Um, it's just full of like graph paper, lined paper, printer paper, just like office supplies almost. My computer I stick down here, it's just a laptop, it's a really old laptop, nothing special. I don't even know what it's called, it's like some Samsung, Samsung laptop. Hole puncher is here, um, I think the lined paper is actually down here. And between the printer and the desk, well I have this long ruler, I have a bunch of like boards of wood that I sometimes use to put underneath things. Some of it came packaged in a tablet, so I kept it because I thought they'd be useful. And now underneath it are drawers. And this one is pretty much an office supply drawer. Um, I keep sticky notes here, notebooks, a bunch of like glue guns and staples and hole punchers, paper clips, safety pins, thumbtacks. My old phone is here. It's so small. I just keep it just in case something happens to my current phone because it worked pretty well. Now this is kind of the same sort of drawer, but I keep keep all my tape in it, like masking tape, um, washi tape. I keep these paper clips and more notebooks. That's pretty much all that's in here. There's a bunch of playing cards too, like this is full of playing cards. I used to play cards all the time during lunch. There's like five or six decks in there. This is, um, I never really use this drawer. It has a bunch of pencil cases in it because I'm addicted to buying pencil cases just because I just like them. Well, I haven't bought one in a while, but if I see a really like cute one at the dollar store, I'll get it because it's not that expensive. And also all my polymer clay is in here. And just some other random craft stuff like super glue, um, this wire, and more polymer clay tools. These are some canes that I made. <laughs> They're really old. And I keep pencil cases in here too. This is also a pencil case. And here's a sharpener, an electric sharpener. Um, I only use it if I need to, so it's usually just sitting here, but it's good to have. It comes in handy. So up here I keep little things that, that come in handy, and sorry if my voice gets quieter as I move towards this. Um, this is a tape measure. Just useful, has my initial on it. Um, this is a little dish of like all my, uh, all my like SD cards and USBs and stuff like that, and I keep them here. There's also batteries for some reason. A bag of screws. I don't know what these are for, so I'm keeping them because I know I'm going to need them one day. This is actually a plush from Jaden Animations, and I ordered it when she announced it because I really wanted it. I wanted her bird, and it came with a pin too, so that's why I got it. A friend gave this to me. It's a little turtle when its head bobs up and down. And there's a little play button here that my dad made for me when I got 10,000 subscribers. It's kind of hard to see, but that's what it looks like. I keep it up here. And inside here, I think, is my old iPod. It's like an iPod Nano and it was orange, so that's in there. There's nothing else in there. <laughs> These are some fake books that keep, like, buttons and stuff in them, like, uh, like sewing buttons or stickers or just, like, there's not really much in here. A little duck in a, in a basket sits in here. And a bunch of little tiny birds. Just some fake flowers from, uh... My 16th birthday it was a while ago. I've kept them ever since. My water bottles, I always put, oh, you cannot see this. I always put my water bottles here just cause they're out of sight. Now here, I usually keep my camera, my voice recorder. Let me grab the voice recorder actually. I can't put my camera there because I'm filming with it right now. So my voice recorder always goes here. It's actually not mine, it's my dad's, but I use it. It's like a, H4N Zoom handy recorder. It's pretty good. I think it has good sound quality. And my external hard drive is here. Business card holders and some tea. Keep a special tea here. Um, this is full of stuff. I have not looked at this in a while. There's an eyedropper, um, a screen cleaner, a bunch of gloves for your hand. I have three gloves? No, two screen cleaners, two gloves. Erasers, are f it's full of erasers. It's just full of like odds and ends that I don't want to get rid of. So I just keep them in here for some reason. I should go through this one day and get rid of stuff because I don't need all this. 
Here I keep my old Copic cases, some really old rocks that I painted. Wow. I think I did this for, for uh, school in like grade 12. There's a fox one, a deer, and a cat. It was like a project in grade 12. It was really fun. No, grade 11? It wasn't grade 12. But it was fun. I keep my Copic colors. So if, I ever, if I'm ever buying more um, markers, I know what colors I already have. So we were just there, and now we're here. So this is also kind of um, very cluttered. I keep all my Crayola stuff up here, so like uh, crayons and markers and a big set of Crayola pencil crayons markers here. I need to throw these out though because they're really old and they're really gloopy or gunky. I don't know how to describe it. This shouldn't be here. This is my keyboard. I'm going to move this. A bunch of cardboard for packaging things, even though I don't package things, but I thought I'd save them because I want to one day package more things. A bunch of envelopes for the same reason. Uh, my light boxes are here. I have two of them. Um, just some old tiny sketchbooks that I really... Oh, I forgot about this one. It's a cute little sketchbook. I don't really need these. These are really old. All my current tiny sketchbooks are on my bookshelf. Glue, uh, bookbinding glue, neutral pH, and tacky glue. I would use this for bookbinding once. My, all my business cards are here. I actually have, I got new ones because I didn't like the other ones. Oh, this isn't open. They look like this. This cord hanging down is attached to my light box. It makes me nervous because it could be ripped off, but I can't take it out, so... And I keep a little tiny laptop here. There's fingerprints on the front of these. Ignore that. Um, here's where my paint is. I recently did a video on these, the Ecoline paint. Um, I have some India ink. A Koi Sakura... wait. Koi watercolor travel set. Um, a big box... oh, no. <laughs> A big box of these Pentel Energel um, black ballpoint pens. I really like them and I got a big box of them for my birthday, so I'm going to have those for a while. A set of gouache. This is the current gouache I use. I really like it. And it's a primary set and it works really well. Um, a friend gave me this box and I keep my watercolors in it right now. And also my gouache palette. Oh no. Brushes here. Um, my watercolor palettes show you them they're probably really messy yeah that one and this one this is my my per my home one and this one is for school and it has star versus the forces of evil stickers on them because I love that show it's probably my favorite show some uh, masking fluid for watercolor you basically put it on and when it dries you peel it off and it leaves that area white so you can paint over it and it kind of like resists the watercolor. Um, a re, re squash set of gouache. <laughs> There's 12 of them. I don't really use it that much because I remember not liking it but that was a long time ago before I knew how to actually like paint that well. Not that I know how to paint well I just that was when I was not as experienced. This drawer is very full. Um, I got my sharpies, an exacto knife kit, um, triangular pencils. They're pencil crayons. They're pretty cool. They have triangular barrels as well. Um, all my pro markers are in here. Because they're really big and I can't really put them anywhere else. Some pencils from Desairs. Just like a 12 pack tube. I have a lot of pencil crayons. Um, Koi watercolor brush pens. I think I won those in a contest a long time ago. Faber-Castell pastels. Um, Prismacolor Premier Pencil Crayons. Really, I always forget that pencil crayons exist, so I, I just have these and I always forget to use them. I have a coaster set of these birds and they're really cute. I think there's two designs. Yeah, there's this one. <laughs> and this one. And they're really cute, so I keep them. Because they're like Christmas coasters, so I'm definitely holding on to these. Prismacolor very thin pencils. They're like harder than the other ones. I wanted them to outline stuff. The Lyra pencil crayons, which I really like these. I like them better than the Prismacolor ones, to be honest. I like them. 
some empty bags that I sometimes put brushes in, and some a set of pencils I also got for my birthday. I use these a lot at school, so it was pretty useful. They're like different hardnesses. I usually use 4B though. It's my favorite one. Now I gotta put everything back the way it was. And down here is all my electronics. And this is really hard to open. Something's stuck. So I keep all my DS games here. Just here's the ones I have. <laughs> I have other ones in there that I just don't have the case for anymore. Oh, look, there's more here. Some of these are so old, like the Nintendogs. Oh my gosh, that was like, that was so long ago. Gotta put all these back now. And my garbage can is there. My plants are here. I like this one, it's really leafy. It's some kind of ivy. This is an air plant and an ivy. And some flower. And these are really cool. They're kind of stretching for the sun. I feel bad. This one's losing its color a bit because there just doesn't get enough sun here. So now you've seen my whole desk, all my art supplies that are in my desk. Um, this is my workstation. Um, a little bit different from last time, but really it's pretty much the same as last time. So I hope you found this interesting and I will see you in my next video.